Stern HHT is here to serve people with hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia. It is built upon multidisciplinary European centres of excellence that have been working together since our first international meeting in 1996. And we are now brought together under the European Commission's European Reference Network for Rare Vascular Diseases, called Vascern. In Vascern HHT, we combine evidence and experience. We put your care and well-being first. Our core values are patient first, safety first. Our leads have been working in HHT for an average of 22 years, running their hospital HHT services for most of that time. The other clinicians have spent up to 17 years in HHT. Our HHT group also includes a highly experienced patient representatives. HHT affects different people in different ways. Good care involves offering you preventative treatments and on-demand care for complications if they were to occur. First we diagnose how severe the condition is in you. Next we sort out any problems. You may have none. Next we decide what preventative measures would be important to you. Finally we offer you an as-needed service to sort out future problems if they were to occur. Common problems for people with HHT are nosebleeds. Anemia due to losing red blood cells through bleeding. Arteriovenous malformations that may need treatment. Needing extra care in pregnancy. And there are other issues. To get the simple things right, we have written a guide to help all doctors, whatever their experience, to help you. It is important to remember that in HHT, most people will have good life expectancy, as shown by these three expert HHT specialists from Italy, Denmark and the Netherlands. Some years ago in Italy, we compared uh, HHT patient parents with HHT with uh, dead parents without HHT. Although the HHT patient uh, died seven years uh, uh, sooner than the non-HHT patients and in a period with no screening, uh, it's important that uh, the HHT patient reached in some case 89 years and most of them reached uh, 60 years old. We found something similar among Danish HHT patients who we followed from 1974 until 1995. Then we identified a second group of HHT patients and their controls and we followed these people from 1995 and 20 years on. In this group, we could see that the HHT patients benefited from our treatment and uh, lived as long as their controls. In the Netherlands, we were able to confirm the data of our Danish colleagues. In the Netherlands, we screen and treat people with HHT from child age. We found out that if we screen and treat them with a the protocol we use since 2004, that their life expectancy is normal. They are still young people who die because of HHT and we do everything we can to prevent this. But on the other hand, we are now beginning to understand why it is so many of you are reaching your 80s and beyond. We have to notice that HHT has a fluctuating nature and many of you are and should remain well. But it is important to remember that health improvement has come about because of two simple sets of advice. If you are well, don't expect problems. They may never occur. But even if you are well, don't underestimate HHT. Make sure you have the appropriate screen so that you can benefit from modern medicines. For now, goodbye from all of us, but do check our website for updated information. Mm -hmm.